It's length to waist is 25. While Igor's height of 7 foot 8 inches is stratospheric. Coat length 42. With pituitary gigantism, it's possible to grow even taller, much taller. But is there a limit? Out seems 53. The tallest recorded giant in history, Robert Wadlow, soared to 8 foot 11 inches. Wadlow never had his pituitary tumor removed, and giants who don't get their tumors treated can keep shooting upward. I'm Robert Wadlow, 12 years old, and weigh 240 pounds, and I'm about 7 feet tall. Scientists think it's possible to grow even taller than Wadlow, but they don't yet know if there is a maximum height that humans can achieve. Giants like Wadlow will keep growing until their bodies tell them to stop. Here again, it's the pituitary gland that gives the orders. The pituitary chemically signals the sex organs to release hormones when people reach adolescence, triggering a range of changes, like a deeper voice. But these same hormones eventually signal the body to stop vertical growth. The hormones prevent the cartilage cells in the bone from multiplying, which stops the body's long bones from growing any longer. Robert Wadlow never reached puberty. His pituitary tumor was so aggressive that it kept the gland from triggering the sex hormones that launch puberty. This twist among some giants explains why Wadlow's body never got the word to stop rocketing skyward. He seemed to keep growing all through his life. But unlike Wadlow, most giants do go through puberty, which makes them stop growing in height. That was the case with Igor. Thanks, Igor. Who stopped his vertical rise at age 21. We just found out we had to have a little bit of patience because it seemed like nothing could be done overnight. Like Sandy, Robert Wadlow, history's tallest recorded giant, developed poor circulation probably because his heart could no longer keep up with his body's needs. And weak blood flow contributed to numbness in his lower legs. Due to this loss of feeling, he didn't realize until too late that a leg brace had rubbed a blister on his left ankle. An infection set in, which led to Wadlow's death in 1940 at age 22. To avoid Robert Wadlow's fate, Sandy must improve her circulation. She also needs more lung power. You did good there. Well, thank you. Okay. Sandy faces an uphill battle because her respiratory system is a contradiction in anatomical engineering. Let's do something. Same thing. Good. This is fun. Good. 